Welcome to this lesson. My first uh, advice is for the left hand. Practice this intro chords. G minor. G minor with the bass on the F. E major 7 and D7. In a relaxed manner, uh, trying to change from one to, to the other uh, as smooth as possible. Get the left hand used to these positions. Then, concerning the right hand, I'm using a kind of strange technique, hybrid picking, with pick and these three fingers, something that I'm working on right now. If I didn't use this technique, I would use uh, these four fingers, okay? We'll play it like this. I think it's easier than to play just with the pick. of course you can play just with the pick so a lot of possible techniques here to the right hand I'm using this kind of strange technique pick on these three fingers uh, my students are using just the fingers okay pulgar indicador medio ear and lard concerning uh, the left hand I kind of prefer when I do the second chord to put the bar right here uh, it seems a little more easier and less noisy but okay there are many uh, different um, fingerings possible here he doesn't doesn't use these fingerings as I saw in the video but for me are my preferred ones okay then practice slowly and uh, start raising the speed uh, uh, bit by bit then on the left hand we are using a G minor G minor with the bass on the F G minor with the bass on the um, E flat, uh, we, which we could do like this or like this. Okay, then let me play it. Uh, so this is a E, f e major seven chord, really. Okay, not uh, the G minor. So G minor, G minor with F on the bass, E, e major seven chord. We have this note. Once again, E major 7, then D7. Okay, and this is it concerning the intro and verse chords. <laughs>
so this solo is based on the G minor scale. Um, let me play it phrase by phrase in a way that you can learn it by here. So the first phrase is here on this octave. The way again. Next. Repeat. Two phrases. This whole part. Then, so as you can see in this pickup, I have a lower gain. Then, I, when I'm moving from this position to this one, I shift for the, the bridge pickup, which I have the gain on the, the maximum. Okay. So do this next part, which goes like this. Slide to the G. So we are here on the G minor scale. These three licks. the strings when you are bending because of the noises. I kind of prefer to grab the, the strings here between the, the nail and the flesh to avoid this noise. But you, uh, it's better if you experiment and to see what is best for you, okay? So this whole phrase now. Now bending here on the C, just this. On the chorus part, we have... I've used are all power chords G, B flat, B flat, F, also the C, and this F over here. The last part I did uh, these two notes with some pinch harmonics here on the right hand. And the same, then two frets above. Play this part slowly. And this is it. It seems simple, this part. After this, we have once again that solve we had before, which is...
All right, so let's learn now all of the leaks we have here on the ending of the song. First one. <laughs> Uh, starting here with the uh, half tone bending, a pinch harmonic on the right hand. We are extending the scale like this. We're resting here on this G note, and after this, I will do another pinch harmonic on this note. Ending with a vibrato. So let's put all the things together. After this, we have. So simply a pre bending here on this C to get the D note, then a lay down, a pull off, then a slide. Okay. After this, we have this lick. Um, simply starting here on this C note, getting the D. Okay, please use your ears and try to learn the things by here. It's much better than just use your eyes and use your a tab. Okay, let me play it once again slowly. Next raise, going here to this position, G minor scale once again, starting with, with the hammer on from F to C to G. Simply extending the scale and then ending with a uh, bending from C to D and resting on the C. We play it again and slowly. Okay, next phrase. Um, I'm here on the 15th position, uh, starting with the bend from F to G like this. again let me play it a little bit faster after this lick the next one it's uh, extending the scale from this G G A B flat C and the bending like this let me repeat Now I go. Now I'm going for a listen bending here on the first string and second string to get two G notes. Let me play this slowly. Next. Two. After this. The same lick before. This lick already appeared before. Uh, next. Let me repeat. D, G. After this. Once again. I'm doing this first note before I get the D. Then as a part that I could do here or I could do here. So I'm doing this F, then um, five pull-offs, playing this D and this C also. Like this, two, three, four, five, and I get this to this note. I play it five times. And then I do this three times. Okay, the whole lick. Let's 
you have to listen to the music and to understand the, the rhythm and the context. Then, playing these two notes, F and C, but you don't hear too much this F. Okay, the most important is this C on the first string. Then, just a diatonic scale. Let me play it once again, slowly. Ending with a bending. After this we have... We play it a little bit faster. Now, slowly. Okay. The loss from C to B flat, and then also this G. Three times. Then we have this lick. Let me play it slowly. Once again, slowly, even slower. Two trills, okay? Like this. Then a series of trills, as fast as you can, to repeat this whole phrase, okay? Like this. Then this whole phrase repeats until the ending of the song. So this is it. Good luck. Have fun. Good work. Take a look at my other videos. Bye. See you. <laughs>